morning guys, it is Max Imagination here, back at it again with a new video. So this time, we're opening a new section called Home Science Experiments. I'll be showing you different types of experiments that you can do at home. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make rock candy. So let's get right to it. So you will need two jars, preferably slim but really tall, to make your rock candy a lot thicker and uh, taller. Then you'll need some food coloring. I have some raspberry flavoring. You just use whatever kind of food coloring you have. One cup of water, three cups of granulated white sugar, and you'll need four of these bamboo skewers. So let's put the water in, like that. And let's put our three cups of sugar in, just like that. Wow, that's a lot of sugar. Here we go. And then you're going to mix it all together. Now you're going to heat up the mix until the sugar is all dissolved. So while the pot of our solution is still boiling there, we're going to soak our four sticks in some water for about 10 minutes. So you guys may be wondering, why does the stick need to be soaked? Well, the stick provides the surface in which the crystals will grow. As water evaporates from the stick, small crystals of sugar will encrust the stick. These tiny little seed crystals will provide starting points for larger crystals. So now you're going to roll all of your sticks in the sugar. So for the first jar, we're going to add a little bit of your coloring in there. And on your second jar, we're not going to add anything. It's just going to stay without food coloring. So now let's gently pour our solution into each jar. All right, so now it's time to put our four skewers into the solution. So let's start out by taking two of them. We're going to place them in. And just to save sugar, I'll be putting two in one jar because I don't have enough sugar to make four jars. So we're gonna put them in like that. Make sure they do not touch the sides or the bottom of the jar. We're gonna put one clothespin right here, hold on. You may even wanna put them as deep as you can, as long as it doesn't touch the sides or the bottom. All right, so now that we put all the sticks on top of the jar with the clothes pegs, I'll be observing the crystals every day. We're going to let them sit for about a week, so see you soon. Day one. So as we can see, we already grew a second layer of sugar crystals on top of what we already had before, before we dipped them in. And I think this is going to be a successful rock candy. Again, what makes the crystals grow? Well, as time passes, the water will evaporate slowly from the solution. As the water evaporates, the solution becomes more saturated and sugar molecules will continue to come out of the solution and collect on the seed crystals on the stick. The rock candy crystals grow molecule by molecule. Your finished rock candy will be made up of about quadrillion molecules attached to your stick. Day two, we got another layer of crystals. Day three, so now you can probably see there's a crust forming at the top of the jar. And there's a lot of sugar going down to the very bottom of the jar. So that's where most of the sugar just goes away. Day four, now there's even more crystals added to our stick. Day five. They're getting closer to their final size, but we'll keep them for a couple more days. Day six. This is the last day that we're gonna keep them in the jar. Tomorrow, we're gonna take them out. Finally, day seven. Our raw candies are finished growing. Now, they are at their maximum size. It's time to take them out. So the clear ones are not that big. I'll show them in a second. Let's try the red ones. Alright, those are the red. 
Alright, so there's our rock candy. Well, the rock candies are definitely a lot smaller than I wanted them to be, so yeah. But that's what we have. Alright, so here's our rock candy. It looks delicious. I can't wait to try them. Let's try the white ones. They basically just taste of sugar. Let's try one of the um, pink ones. Mm. The pink ones taste a lot better because we added some raspberry flavoring into these, so they're pretty good. Now, if you enjoyed watching this video of how to make these rock candies, then be sure to hit this video a like, comment, and subscribe as usual. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next week. Peace.